Right folks, back. Fat lads back. Fat lads back. Back again. Bye right, Junie. I'm all right. Looking rather dishy in your rugby top. I thought it was only men that were dishy. No, you're dishy. Whatever. Oh. You're pretty, 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 you know. A uh, couple of... Uh, what you're doing, sucked instead of blue. No, well, June's cooked a gammon, and um, I've been picking at the gammon while June's been in the conservatory, and I've swallowed it the wrong way. Couple of things to start off with, folks. Uh, who have we got to say hello to? West End Leicester. They're West End Leicester, West End Town. Uh, yes, he saw me the other day, uh, the builder and his mate, and. Um, that was the dog yawning. Dog yawning. <laughs> Weren't June squeezing one out. Um, <laughs> probably only the visually impaired could hear that because of their hypersensitive hearing. Um, yes, we was walking through the village the other day and uh, this bloke started talking to me and I thought, I know your face, you look familiar, you look, I, I, but I can't remember. I'm 50 fucking two, I can't remember things. And anyway, he started talking, he says, Love all your stuff, blah, blah, blah. He says, do you know how I only recognised you? And I thought, I've got my purple Nike hoodie on. And, uh, and uh, I thought, it would have seen the purple hoodie. He went, no, it was June's voice. Because I bent down <laughs> to do my shoelaces up, tie my trainers up. Uh, what, you said something, I can't remember what you said. It would probably be Leicester accent, not yeah. what I said. Leicester accent. Ac um, no, get it right, accent. Accent. <laughs> uh, and he, he recognised her voice, so... Um, yeah, fair play. Uh, and then I've got to do... Now, don't start sending me all these shout-outs because I'm not doing them, right? I'm doing this because... I don't know. Because... I don't know. Junior's voice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Sam Helm, he's asked me to say uh, a shout-out to Elliot Catterson. On any upcoming video, I know he'd love it. Uh, so this is it. This is the upcoming video. Elliot Catterson, how are you? Hope you've done all well today. Uh, and all that, and uh, here we go. Right, so, on the way to work this morning, I stopped off at the M&S in Syston, and um, the lads all know me in there. How come you get M&S stuff? And me and Ginger have to make do with the co-op. We could go M&S if you want to go M&S. I don't go anywhere now. Well, I know you don't, so shut the up then. Why do, do, why do people do that? Why don't we have this? Why don't we? Because you don't go with me. Literally. Uh, so anyway, I went to M&S uh, mm. at Syston. And uh, I went to put some fuel in the van, but I forgot. So I went in, popped in and picked up me, um, me Greek yoghurt. Me half a pint of... Um, not tuppenny rice. Half a pint of milk. Green top. Uh, I also had two small sausage rolls. I, I picked up the Daily Star as well. I don't know why I picked up the Daily Star because I've stopped buying it. We but don't I, I just do I now. bought it. It's in the garage, and uh, I just picked it up for some reason. And I bought this. It's M&S Food Plant Kitchen New York Style No Salt Beef on a Pretzel Roll with a slaw and dill pickle. For the visually impaired, I'm holding it up. <laughs> it looks like a hot cross bun. It does. Doesn't look bugger all like a pretzel. Uh, it serves one, and uh, there's, yeah, oh, fucking, you ain't bothered about what's in it, are you? I mean, let's face it, you know when you go and buy stuff from these garages, do you actually look? Well, it depends whether you've got an orange, you Well, I suppose it does, but I mean, do you think, oh, well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna eat that because it's 3.03 grams of salt. If it was not, if it was 2.98, I'd, I'd have it. it. But it's just bollocks. You know, they go out on all these programs. Oh, we don't know how much salt or how much sugar. If you have a can of Coke, it's like 58 bags of sugar. Fuck off. Stop telling me what I can and can't do. It's bad enough with the situation as it is without some knob um, telling me I can't drink a can of Coke. How the hell did we make it to 2021 with all these muppets telling us what we can and can't fucking do? June's there going like this. Yeah. Looks like <laughs> fucking fit. 
What are you not that for? You're gonna stab me in the back. I was with hoping it. you were gonna cut me a bit off. Well, you cut that open, babe. You, uh, you, you open it up. Yeah, it just winds me up and all this thing and the, these things like, you know, you've got to take responsibility for yourself. And if you're eating, if you're drinking like 15 two litre bottles of Coke Cola, then you're not going to be healthy. If you're just eating Chinese and McDonald's and KFC, you're going to end up looking like this. I don't always eat that stuff, do I? No. What are you eating? A gherkin. So this is it, folks. There it is on the plate. That actually looks like beef. It does actually look like beef. Uh, it's got on it um, gherkins, a bit of chip. Right, there you are. This is, I've just opened it up, folks. Let's have a look. Let's do a quintet. Now, if you don't know Quincy, Quincy was a 1980s um, autopsy bloke, weren't he? Practitioner, no, are you? What was he? What was he? <laughs> what was he? Quincy. He was. Um, he did autopsies. He was like some kind of autopsy bloke who did autopsies on dead bodies. <laughs> but, I can't remember what he was, but he was really good. And he used to, he was like, he was in his 60s and he always shagged the like real fit girls, didn't he? Not the young, young girls, but he always got the good looking girl. He, his knob must have been fucking hanging up by the end of the eighth series. Yeah, maybe. Actually, for, like an older bloke, for an older bloke. Better off, it's he. For an older bloke, he was quite... Dishy? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's do a Quincy on this. Uh, we have here some gherkins, or pickles of some kind. Uh, we've got some bits of cheese. We've had... Now, m &S, right? I expect more from m &S because m &S is quite ho ho quality standard food, isn't it? And what, what are you moaning about? Well, look at that! They've got these noodle things here, and it's they've... Not, that's the slaw, isn't it? Well, whatever it is, they've missed. Well, you know what they've done there, don't you? They've, they've, they've put it on yeah, right they've... at the edge, so it looks like it's absolutely crammed. That's how it was. I mean, some of the meat substituted fallen out. Mm. But so it looks like it's absolutely crammed. Well, it, crammed. Looks, it looks shit. Do you want me to get a knife so you can spread it around a bit? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Spin the camera back up. <laughs> You'd gone. Um... So what I'm going to do, folks, uh, now, let me spread that around. June's going to spread it for me. But don't forget to put your cheese back on. Yeah, I'll put now the cheese. Now you've dissected it. Dissected? Who was Quincy? What I'm was going his... to have a look for you. I'll, I'll, I'll yes, come on, it. the research team. Uh, let's put my cheese back on. Itsy yeah. bitsy, get down, you little shit. Yeah, try some of that meat substitute. Right, I'm going to try some. This is the meat substitute. It does look... Oh, fuck it, I can't be asked. That looks like pot roast beef, brisket, slow cooked brisket. And I thought it tasted very much like it. You know when I do a pot roast in the slow cooker? Mm. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Let me just try another bit. Texture's good. That's it does taste much like. It needs, I know it says that it's no salt, and I think it needs some no, salt. No, I don't think it does. Don't you I think, think it does? Yeah, well, well, how do you know? You've got no taste buds after COVID. Oh. Oh, shit, the cheese I think it's off. quite tasty. The cheese has fell off. Oh, I've thought of a burger, June. Oh, God. It's going to be one of my gourmet McDonald's range. Right, I'm going to cut this in half. Do you know what I like it? I think there's quite a lot of pepper in that. Ah, uh, you're a bit of a pepper bully, aren't you? Yeah, I like pepper. Cut me a quarter off, please. A quarter? Yeah, because it's bread, isn't it? I'm not very good with bread. I'm having a bit it's of a pretzel. It's still bread, isn't it? Is still it? Got, yeah, it's still got wheat in it. Hasn't wheat, it? wheat, wheat! Who says that? <laughs> you just did. <laughs> right. I'm going to try a bit of this noodle stuff on its own. It's not noodle, it's coleslaw. Not keen on that. Well, leave it on your cob and then see what Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to leave it on my cob. I can't fucking eat that. Why? It's fucking horrible. 
think it's really good. What don't you like about don't it? Don't like none of it. There's absolutely nothing in there that I like. I don't like the pretzel. I don't like the bread. It's bready the way it. I don't like that coleslaw. I don't like the cheese. The all right. The the plant based stuff has got the texture. Of, it's no. Yeah, I really disagree with you in that. I Change. Think, I think this is really really good. I think it, for somebody who's not really got a lot of taste at the moment. I think that's got a lot of taste. Do you know how much that worth? Go on then, how much? Have a guess. Four quid. Four quid? How much was it? Four quid. Oh, was it? Yeah. Yes. Try that, Jim. Just keep off camera though. It's, um... It's plant-based. Dad hated it. I thought it was really good. That's a pretzel, apparently. Hot cross pretzel. Oh. Got gherkins and... Slow. The meat that's supposed to be meat does have a texture of meat. But, I like it. Hey? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Mm. But we're a bit more that way inclined, aren't yeah, we? They, like yeah, they, they are like that. Yeah, because if quite often we'll have vegetarian. Well, let's put it this way, right? If you're a builder or a labourer or some kind of manual worker that likes and you walk into Marx's, right, because you need to top up the Bravaro or the bloody Transit or the Merck Sprinter or whatever, and you think, right, I want something to eat, to last me for the day, don't fucking bother. Because you'll get that, and you know what you'll do? You'll end up, like, getting the apprentice or the, the, yeah, the young lad who's training, and you'll just end up shoving it in his face well, or something. Ginge, who is notoriously fussy, is just polishing the rest of that off. Do you really like that then, Ginge? Mm, no, well, I don't. what's your opinion then, Ginge? What, uh... The meat substitute's really good, isn't it? Because that's like what mum well, does in the slow cooker. Soggy meat. Once you got me a sandwich from the co-op and it tasted the, it, exactly like it, and it wasn't oh, like, I meat think... free, and it just tastes exactly like and it's really nice. Yeah, the slaw's really good. That's got a nice crunch to it. The cheese is for a vegan I cheese. I think I'd rather have a cold saw than eat that cold fucking slaw. Yeah, I, I really like it. I think it's lots well, of flavour. Nice. Would you say it's worth four pound? Um, but I suppose I, they've put a lot I, of thought I, and energy into it. I'd they? probably pay four pound for that because I'd probably enjoy that more than anything else. But it's not going to fill a blow cup, is it, really? No, it you ain't. You probably it's, need two of them. Yeah. You're better off stopping at the BQ car park. If you're going to eat meat, stop off at the BQ car park in Loughborough. Yeah. I, I I thought it was really nice, and I definitely paid four pound for it. Yeah, it's expensive, but I'm so footy that it's worth. Ginger's reading the packet. Yeah. So all that education hasn't gone to waste. Somebody says the other day, stop picking on your daughter. Yeah, stop Not picking, picking on, on her. Me. I'm toughening her up for outside there. Really good. Gets a thumbs up from me. Gets that from me. <laughs> no, they'll have just a complete... I mean, don't get me wrong, folks. I'm glad I've done it. Um, because, obviously, June, Junie Baby and uh, the Ginger Baby, um, they like it. But... Yeah, I don't... I don't if, you, if you're built like me, and you act like me, and you talk like me, and you do things like me, just fucking walk on by. All right? Get why you say it's not tasty. I think it's really tasty. I didn't like that slaw. It just, it just, there was just nothing in it for me. I may as well have been eating my own snot. To well, be fair. There you go. I like and we've it. all done you that, haven't we? Well, not at mine, but at your own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to leave that one there, folks. I'm going to upload this, so this will be out later on when you see it on the YouTube. All right, laters.